Who's there? You look different to when I last saw you. Well, what can I say? I grew a beard. Tell me where it is. Where is she? Oh wait, wrong film. I'll never tell you where it is. Don't make me mix your 1.2s with your 2.5s. I'll do it. No, uh, never. Mate, I've got other ways of making you talk. Uh, I'll never talk. <laughs> what, what's, what's that? Oh, this will make you talk. Uh, oh no. <laughs> It's not gonna work! It's not gonna work! Well, I'll make you talk. How about everyone knows your identity, Preston? No, please don't do it! Please! I'll tell him. No! I'll do it! No! Come on! Tell me! Alright, alright! I'll tell you! I'll tell you! Beautiful. It's your boy Danny Boy and today is a very special video because we are taking a look at the Vorst VPX gas blowback pistol. We'll never back down, we will not relent now and never till the day that we dream no. I see it coming as we press on, we will not relent now and never till the day that we dream no. I see it coming alive. So here the VPX gas blowback pistol. Now, in the box, you're gonna find a lovely Vorsk patch. You get a really nice laminated manual, basically showing you all the do's and don'ts of loading and setting your pistol up. Um, and you have a breakdown as well if you are wanting to take it apart. Anyway, on to the next bit. So in the box itself, comes with the main piece de resistance, the gas blowback pew pew. It comes with one magazine, which is double stacked. It also comes with a really nice set of extra parts. You have two extra gas nozzles in there, one for CO2 and one for green gas. And you also have a little pack of O-rings, just in case you need to change out your magazine, if it breaks any time, and one little Allen key. Right, so, taking this out. Taking this out. That is a very, very solid fill. Now, if you guys have got a keen eye, obviously you can see this pistol was based off the Punisher film. Now, I've watched both the 2004 film and the latest series. So, as I was saying, uh, this is based off the Punisher series. Now, there's a couple of differences between the 2004 Punisher film and the latest Punisher series. Um, the main one being this compensator on the end. Now, as far as I know, I watched the whole new series all the way through and I did not see a version of the 911 which had the compensator on there. Um, but it did have the chrome detailing. So I don't know if they just took like parts from the first movie and didn't like obviously use the whole look in the old 2004 Punisher film um, there's a couple of scenes where you can see the Punisher himself rocking this 1911 with the compensator on the end. There is, as well, a dual pack that you could get of this. So you can get two of them together if you did want a dual wheel two. Again, in the first Punisher film, it does rock two of these. Starting from the bottom of the pistol here, you've got a very nice textured pistol grip there with the signature Vorsk logo. Looks really, really nice. You have some very nice detailings, like on the barrel itself, it does say 45 ACP, which is a lovely touch. Um, the VPX lo uh, logo, obviously engraved on the side there. At the front here, you have a chrome 
compensator, which in airsoft it doesn't exactly do too much. It doesn't affect the gun at all, it's just for look. But again, I'd have it on there. I'd rather have my pistol looking like this than plain any day. Um, moving on to the top, you have some really nice sights, which again, as far as I can see from the film, they are the same sights um, that are on the 1911 used by the Punisher in the film. The pistol itself just looks really nice. Like, I love the chrome detailing. It just, everything pops. Like, look at, take, take a look at that nice little trigger there. The detailing on that trigger just, oh, it brings the whole gun together. I love it. And taking a look, look in the top there, you can see the blue nozzle. The top slide being based on an MEU 1911. It's very nice, feels very solid. There's a very, very tiny bit of a wobble on the compensator there, but it's nothing you can notice in hand. And as far as I know, it hasn't affected like any shooting performance or anything we've done. If you were to cock the gun, obviously you can't pull the trigger unless the beaver tail there is pushed in, um, which is just another good safety feature to have. But like I said, standard with most 1911s. As well as the beaver tail safety, you've got your normal safety on a 1911 just by sliding that up on the side there and it will lock the gun and it will stop it from firing. Right, okay, next up, magazine. So obviously being a 1911, it's still a double stack, but the gas re reservoir is obviously, I mean, in my case, and most experience I've had, even with TM pistols, 1911 mags don't seem to hold that much gas. They always tend to run out at the end of the first mag. Um, we've done a few tests with this. So filling the whole magazine up, it can hold 21 rounds. I personally only run like 15, 16 rounds, just so it's still got enough like gas power to get through the entire mag. Um, but filling it up with 16 rounds, we managed to get through it twice, which is surprisingly decent to be honest. Um, you'd expect it to run out like just on the first magazine. So obviously this is the magazine that comes with the pistol, um, obviously Vorsk branded. Now we also tried a couple of TM magazines. TM, gas blowback pistol, also fits in there fine. Um, from my experience, it works completely fine. It doesn't get stuck in, inside at all. If there was a bit of a bit of grip on the way in, I wouldn't want to force the mag into the gun just in case you end up breaking it. Um, but both mags fit completely fine. So if you have a TM pistol and you want to run more mags, you can also use these in them. So if you want to take the slide of this 911 to change out any of the internals, you could do that just by taking off the slide as you would a normal 911 by lining up the slide with the little indent on the, on the side of the 911 now. Um, but you do have to take the compensator off first and this compensator literally just swivels off on the end. So once you take that off, the slide will come forth forward, do whatever you need to do, slide it back on, screw the compensator back on. Um, quite standard, easy to do, obviously shows you in the manual as well. This is shooting around 300 FPS at the moment consistently. It was going like slightly below and above 300. Um, so averaged out, it was about 300 FPS. We are now gonna go to what you come here for, which is the shooting test. But let's get a nice little montage going of this thing in action. <laughs> Range test. We're very limited to what we could do, but 30 feet, we got our target. Let's do it. Right, we got a bookie range test. It's all we can do in lockdown. Safety first. Always make sure you've got your iPro on. See how good this is. Not too bad of a grouping, to be honest, at 30 feet. It's like a hand's width apart from the furthest point. 
Um, most of them grouped together in the middle there. Um, I'm, again, with a pistol as a sidearm, being at 30 feet, that's quite a nice grouping to have. Right, now, now what you're going to say, all right, yes, I have terrible aim. Um, killed the hostage straight away. Um, <laughs> I was trying to aim for the head. I got a you should have gone for the head. Couple that were quite close. Um, I'm just a terrible aim. <laughs> but it's still a good group. And if you've got to think, like, literally, that's like two inches. It's fairly close. Like, I'm happy with that. Like, none of them, like, missed the paper. So, you know, A4 size, it's like head size. If you're trying to um, get someone out in a game that's like 30 feet away, you're going to be easily hitting that um, with that pistol. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the look at the VPX Gas Blowback Vorsk pistol. Last pack that we tried out from Vorsk were the Hitman Silver Ballers, and they look insane. Definitely worth checking that out as well. Um, obviously we still have a giveaway going on at the moment. As soon as we hit that 100, we're going to be giving the battle route away. Uh, so subscribe to the channel and again, follow us on Insta. Give us a look on there. We post there some content every other few days. Subscribe here and check the giveaway out here. We've got more videos coming soon. Hit that like button right now. Bye. In a bit. <laughs>